Hey everybody, today I'm going to be using the MIG 200i and we're going to be putting together this rocket stove that was sent to us by Richard Day. We're going to be using a 15 series gun and it has four types of nozzles actually but this one is a cylindrical nozzle and this one is a standard conical nozzle. I prefer the conical nozzle so we're just going to put that on there. We're going to be using O3O 3 wire as well so we're going to be setting up the machine and let's get to it. So we have this 10 pound roll of ER70S6 in O3O and we're going to put it on. First you need your spacer and the spacer goes on first and then you put your wire on and then you hold the spool of wire while you are putting the cap on. And then we need to check our drive roller. So you unscrew this little knob right here. Comes off. Take your drive roller out. So whatever number is facing you is the diameter that's on the other side. So this is 023. And that's what this groove is. And then this one is 030. And that's going to be this groove. So we're using O3O wire, so we're going to flip it to the other side. And then we put the wire in the inlet wire tube. So it comes out the front. There it goes, and we lock it all into place. Make sure you put your knob that holds the dry roller back on. That's important. Then we got our Euro style gun. And then the ground cable twist lock, quarter BSP connects our machine and 5 ace 18 goes into the flow meter. This machine is pretty simple. You got your 2T setting and your 4T setting. 2T is just standard welding, and then 4T, when you press the trigger, it starts the pre-gas flow, and then releasing the trigger makes the wire feed, thus the arc is igniting upon contact. Pressing the trigger again stops the wire from feeding, and it extinguishes the arc. Releasing the trigger again starts post-gas flow. And you have your easy set buttons right here. These are your synergic functions. You have 024 wire, 030, 035 is color coordinated with whatever gauge you are welding and whatever size wire you are with. Obviously 035 is the blue, 030 is the yellow, and 024 is the green. We're going to be welding some 14 gauge steel, so we're going to have it set to about here. Another cool feature of the MIG 200i is that it has an inch slash jog button and a purge button. The inch slash jog button is the third button on the bottom from the left. It allows for wire to feed out electronically without wasting any gas, while the purge button is the fourth button from the left and it allows you to purge the line and set the gas flow on the flow meter without feeding the wire. Here I have decided to try out a couple test welds just to make sure the machine is set to how I would like it. When I started actually welding on the rocket stove, it was determined that the machine was running too hot, which many of our machines are set to standards, but they do run hot, and we turned it down to 18 gauge steel and the voltage up a little bit just to make sure I wasn't burning through those welds. Here I am putting together the rocket stove, reading the instructions, that's pretty important, and tacking it together as well.
once the rocket stove was complete, I wanted to show you guys the outside welds. I did it in parts because I didn't want to warp the material. And then here are the inside welds as well. It was pretty good. I'm happy with the way it turned out. So these were the settings that we ended up welding with most of the time. The machines are rated conservatively at 1G, so they ran a little bit hotter, so we had to turn it down. Our machines are set for the recommended guidelines. When welding a certain material thickness, that is what is recommended on the machine, the material should be at room temperature. Obviously, that's not always going to be the case. It also needs to be welded on a flat portion with moderate or high travel speed and without gun manipulation. If you were to weld out of position and include gun manipulation within that, you would have to lower your settings. When you come into areas of less than perfect fit up and you want to bridge those gaps, you also need to reduce those settings. For someone who has muscle memory that tells them to do gun manipulation, this machine is definitely running hot at a given material thickness. Okay, so I've got the rocket stove done. I think it turned out pretty well for the amateur welder I am. Started off a little rocky, but once I got the machine dialed in, the welds are pretty smooth, and once I got more comfortable with it, they turned out pretty good. This machine performed the way I asked it to. Um, if there were any mistakes, it was all user error, definitely. Um, it's a great welder for the price. Be sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have an Instagram and Facebook page, so be sure you go check those out. We do host Instagram and Facebook giveaways and post our sales on there. Thanks for watching.